The Indianapolis Zoo, conveniently located in the heart of downtown Indianapolis. Legit. You stand in the parking lot, you look to the left, bam, Lucas Oil Stadium right there. The last place I'd expect to see a sprawling zoo is in the dead damn heart of downtown Indianapolis. But, that's what we saw when my daughter came to me and said, Hey, for my birthday, I want to go to Indianapolis Zoo. Okay, let's do it. Now... This, uh, growing up in Southwest Ohio, you go to Columbus Zoo, Cincinnati Zoo, pretty much a year, uh, every summer, and, um, this was our first time in the Indianapolis Zoo, and we wanted to go enjoy it. Now, walking up to this zoo, you don't get the greatest of impressions, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's an eight-foot-tall fence with inward-facing barbed wire, a little hut to buy tickets, a little hut to check your tickets in, and then you got a 200-yard walk till you see your first exhibit. Now, granted, this was partially due be, uh, to the forest section of the park, which is the first exhibit uh, being under construction. So, there were a good amount of animals that weren't on exhibit or were moved to new exhibits. So, what we did was we bought the Total Adventure Package. And it was $30 a person. And it was unlimited animal feeds. So what we got was we got animal feeds with lorikeet birds, which are pretty much parrots, a smaller, different breed of parrot. Uh, these little uh, parakeet-looking things. And um, flamingo feed as well as a giraffe feed. Now there's this little section where you can go pet baby kangaroos. However, we arrived at 3 p.m. to this exhibit, and they have already had about 10,000 people come through there trying to pet these damn things and yelling at them, and they had had enough. They didn't want to do with, deal with any more humans. They had wanted nothing to do with us. It was still pretty cool, though, because we were up close and personal with these kangaroos. Now, I'm not Australian, so I don't see kangaroos like they see our squirrels. You know, we see squirrels, they see kangaroos. That's not, you know, I'm an American. We don't have kangaroos here in America, unfortunately. I wish we did. I think they're badass. Um, but it was really cool to get up close and still pretty personal with these kangaroos. They were, I think the closest one was about probably six to eight feet from us. He didn't want to be touched. I understand. I don't like to be touched either. To hell with it. It was still a lot of fun to see these kangaroos. And just like every zoo and aquarium, they have a touch pool. Which, honestly, I don't agree with touch pools. I think they're a bit um, inhumane. I wouldn't want to be swimming along my Sunday and somebody come poke their damn finger in my eye. However, the kids enjoyed it. That's what it's for. It's for the kids. They enjoyed it. They got to touch a stingray. Freaking awesome, right? Okay, but the Total Adventure Package also comes with unlimited rides. So, and they, they do, they have a small family roller coaster that does um, two laps. They have a carousel and a, and a sky lift or a ski lift. And a couple of small little family kids rides. Um, our favorite exhibit was Laura Keats. Those things flew all over you. They landed on your head. They climbed all over you. It was a whole lot of fun. However, one of my favorite exhibits was the little parakeet things because I made them fight over the stick and it was a triple threat match. It was freaking awesome. I'm a WWE fan. Anyways, getting back on track. If you have a kid between the ages of 7 and 14, children that can walk through this park and enjoy these exhibits, the total adventure package is 100% for you. I also purchased a dolphin encounter uh, where, you know, these dolphins swim up and shake their hand and they go on about their damn business. It was awesome. I love dolphins, the humans of the sea, and it was probably my favorite experience personally.
to shake hands and to, to get really up close and personal with these dolphins. That was that was absolutely my favorite um, portion of this trip. However, bam, while we were doing this, thunderstorm hits. And if a thunderstorm hits while you're at the Indianapolis Zoo, they close down everything that's outdoors. So we didn't get to do the flamingo feed all day. So a 20-minute thunderstorm shut the flamingo exhibit down all day. And to me, that's unnecessary. However, the park is really good about giving you food, drink, vouchers if you miss exhibits and you purchase this Total Adventure package. And they're really good about giving refunds. If you if you truly missed too many exhibits, they will give you a full refund. It is something that this zoo does that most zoos don't do. And I appreciate that. As a father, as a middle class working American, I appreciate that. One thing about this that I really enjoyed about the Indianapolis Zoo that I that you don't get at Columbus or Cincinnati and that is how up close and personal you are with these animals I could reach out and I could touch an elephant it was two feet away from me however don't be that dick don't reach out and touch an elephant are you crazy don't do that just because you can do something don't mean you should I was two feet away three, four feet away from the king of the freaking jungle, the biggest lion I've ever seen. Now, we all know these animals are big, but it really puts it into perspective when you're standing two feet away from a, the king of the jungle, and they're freaking huge. And if I wanted to be that idiot and reach out and lose my arm, I could, and that that's one thing that I want to explain is, don't do it. By all means, don't don't be an idiot, but... You are incredibly close to these animals. And it kind of caught me off guard a little bit. When I walked up to the first exhibit and was like, Oh my God, the only thing separating me and this elephant is a three foot tall electric fence that I could reach over. It blew my mind. So if you are if you got a good head on your shoulders and you just look with your eyes and experience with your eyes, you are going to love this zoo. You're not viewing animals 200 yards away like you do at Columbus Zoo. No, you are feet, sometimes inches away from these gorgeous animals that you never get to see in your everyday life. And that was my favorite part of the Indianapolis Zoo. My advice is get the Total Adventure package. Get the get the dolphin encounter. Get the in-water dolphin encounter. Get the seal encounter. Enjoy all the shows. Soak it all in. I'm giving the Indianapolis Zoo a 9.5 out of 10. And the only reason it's not getting a 10 is because of that thunderstorm and because food and drinks are freaking stupid expensive. I'm serious. A Coke. A 20-ounce Coke is like 8 bucks at this place. It's like going to see a concert or going to, the, to a, an NFL game. It's stupid expensive, but they allow coolers in, so they get a break from me. 9.5 out of 10. If you got kids under 7, don't purchase the Total Adventure package. Just let them look with their eyes. Odds are they're going to fall asleep in the stroller anyways. It would be a waste of your money. 7 to 14, absolutely. Get the Total Adventure package. Hopefully it doesn't rain on you so you can experience everything that this zoo has to offer. I'm giving it a 9.5 out of 10, and I can't wait to go back to see the new forest exhibit that they are currently working on. Indianapolis Zoo, for me, was the best animal experience because they are right there at your fingertips. You are up close and personal with these animals, and that I love. My daughter had a blast. Us as a family enjoyed it thoroughly. We loved it. Go to Indianapolis Zoo. Purchase the Total Adventure Package. Pay the extra $25 a person to do the dolphin encounters. Go to all the shows and just have a fun family, just amazing day. Be smart. Don't try to touch these animals. Summer's over, so I'll see you in the queue line next spring unfortunately damn it what am i going to do with my time now i'll see you in the queue line next spring the robo out